What is going on guys? Today we are looking at Mr. Prime Moment. Essien. I have absolutely loved his base card from the start when I got him from the base icon SBC all the way up until now. It has been a, a, a nice pleasure to see a prime moment version of him. He looks absolutely cracked. He's coming in at 3.5 mil, a huge, huge price tag that probably won't drop down heavily to start with. It will be when we start to get more CDMs, more supply of this card, obviously in the next promo, if uh, that actually comes this Friday, I think it's being called What If. Um, if we do get a high supply of CDMs, a supply of packs, potentially he could come down a little bit. But I feel like it'll be for icons like this, more team of the season, more foot birthday. When we get some really big promos in that this card will start to drop. Obviously, they're still fresh. They're less than a week old still. I'm happy to bring you this one. Trait wise, obviously, we've got long shot take. Oh no, that's computer AI. Outside of the foot shot. And then obviously we have got 88 pace, 84 shooting, 82 passing, 84 dribbling, 91 defending, and 91 physicals. Obviously the pace is fantastic. Defense physical is amazing. We've got a bit of agility balance. Chemstar we're looking at is going to be an engine. So that would give you 93 pace, 89 dribbling, and 88 passing. Absolutely fantastic stuff. We'll discuss that more in the overall. Let's jump straight into him and see what Essien can do. Essien already patrolling that CDM role. Pretty much what he does in terms of my normal player. Obviously, he's just got a little bit more juiced up shooting, uh, pace, ev pretty much everything. He looks, stat-wise, absolutely phenomenal. Essien leading the charge. So what we can do with him. Anything different? I feel like he feels just a little bit lighter on the ball. Kind of nice dribbling side of stuff. Obviously, he can kind of push forward. He's always been able to kind of go forward. Great block off the line there. We find him again. It's a lovely pass. Ah, he doesn't get the first touch, though. And I always found that tackling-wise, he's always great to come back. You can see the speed on him is absolutely fantastic. And interceptions, if he does manage to kind of get the ball off him, it is a very, very nice kind of little stat that he's got there. And again, winning the ball back. Managed to see it out, lovely. One thing with Essien as well, he's always been able to find that pass. Every single time, he's just absolutely beautiful on the ball. Mane doesn't get that one. Messi's going to go for that fake and misses. Essien, again, you can see the speed that you can get him back. That is a huge, huge improvement on any version I've used of him. He is great to kind of just sit in between. And I know a lot of players do it. It's just how you have to play the game at some of the, the, the more top levels. You have to, unfortunately, sit around, running around with this guy, chilling in the DM role. And eventually, you do get the ball back. Essien, you've got to make some strives through. From Mane, back into Essien, not quite. Into John Barnes, though, nearly getting that in there. Oh, it makes a great interception. 90th minute, all he needed was that second longer, and that's going straight through for Mane. Essien with the interception again, and then running up and down the field like nothing. It is past the 90th now, so we are seeing... The, the kind of capabilities of what and, uh, 120 minutes does to a player. Essien with an important block in the 105th. Nesta with a huge block in the 114th there. He is absolutely shattered, but still manages to make that AI block look like it's literally nine minutes into the game. Essien absolutely taking the ball away from big boy Dino there, not having the turn. It was Rooney, not, not Ronaldo. Essien again sees the Rooney spin, gets it inside. Lovely passing to start with from this match. Essien with another cracking interception. Rooney is having a very, very hard day at the office with Essien constantly on him. Essien gets the better over Pushkas there, gets his strength on the go, and sees that ball out, making the dart and run down the line. Can we find it inside? No, Theo's going to be there. Essien, what can we find? It's just, let me skip past him, and it's just lack of, kind of, like, a bit of ambitious from him. We're going to find a little test for Nesta here, as Kaka tries to come through, just pinch the ball off him. 
so going into the overall for Essie and then what a fantastic player this guy is honestly even better than his than his base which is the one that we've got um in the team just untradeable obviously 87 it just slowly slowly gets a little bit better and better i think his mid was the only one yeah his mid is the only one that really it, it kind of hits a kind of low point 77 pace really affects what this card can do but this guy has 88 pace so other than his prime he has got obviously some incredible stats literally like 3.6 mil he will drop down obviously he will go down further and further as we go through in the year but obviously right now you're gonna have to pay an arm and a leg for him is it worth it that is the big question i personally don't think most prime moments are worth it just yet with them only being out almost a week i just really can't see why you'd pay that much unless a money is no object for it you get fifa points you've packed them um there is no other reason to have these cards as of yet there is plenty of cards that you can go get you can go get a team of the Kimmich for almost half the price and yes he has the link factor they're, they're going to do the same job link your team together there's plenty of formations there's plenty of players to choose from for the price of half of these uh of these prime moments especially the good ones obviously we can go for the mill the mill and a half the two mills and some of them are decent but these are where you're looking at the real decent ones like the real ones that are going to change people's teams obviously we went with an engine for him does do his rating some good obviously stat wise it's just fantastic throughout 2528 stats and obviously i think i don't think there is any more gone oh you got party obviously party is a cracking link couple of storyline cards and that's about it for the Ghanaian links it's a very interesting card hopefully we do find this one in a pack at some point as well i'm hoping they do bring out a prime moment sbc later on down the line obviously it's going to be quite a while but hopefully we do get that it looks like we're running down a theme of base mid prime and prime and prime moment so hopefully we will do and we will definitely be sending it full for that to see if we can get a lot of these prime moments in the club overall i think he is like a 9.6 i would say there's still a few things that i would like more obviously the agility you'd like a little bit more even with the engine i know it does add quite a considerable amount of plus five i would like it that little bit higher just to kind of get that kante feel to him so when he's quite very very agile the guy feels like he can move quick but the agility side of him i'd like that little step up obviously the four star skills would be perfect that isn't going to change unfortunately but it would be nice to have them just for when you're pushing forward that you can add a little bit of variety to going forward as well it's not just kind of like a pass ball roll and kind of maybe a couple of step overs it's a little bit of flair to it as well but overall fantastic player can't really argue too much about him there is very little cdms at the moment that would overtake him in terms of this price bracket um, like i say kimmich is probably one of the best in terms of value as well but hopefully you did enjoy this video let me know down below what you think make sure you like and subscribe i'll see you for the next one